you know gangsters, you know. Got the new rear pads for the beast. Need to pop those in today. Gonna go for a ride Sunday morning. Can probably be a little bit spirited. So I thought, yeah, probably chuck, chuck, some, chuck some new rear pads in. They're okay, probably still legal, but heard that the police have been checking my people's pads and stuff where we go, so. Anything to keep me down. Uh, so we let, 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 let's get some new pads in the back. It should be relatively quick process. Grab the Haynes manual, take a little peek. And as you know, amateur, amateur mechanic, back at it again. What do we need for this beast? We need some brake cleaner, old toothbrush, or your current toothbrush, just clean it afterwards, you know, be safe. Bit of, bit of copper grease for the back of the pads. Same process as did for the front. So yeah, it should be a little bit quicker, hopefully. Getting to the reservoir, it's a little bit hidden, so I might just unscrew that and then fill it if I need to. And just have a general look over them, see if I need anything else. Hopefully I can clean the pins up and stuff. I haven't done the rear pads on this bike since I've had it. And the previous dude was a legend and he didn't look after the bike, so. It could be bad, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. So yeah, keep watching and see what it gives. Okay, gangsters, let's get to it. There we go, so we got the old Haynes manual. Show you what we're working with. So that's there. So what we're going to be doing is taking our, what do I say there, slacking the, pa the pad retaining pin, and then unscrew the bolt, bolt B, pivot the caliper up. So that's just if you want to, yeah, put in your fresh pads. There's another bolt up there. So I suppose that will take this whole caliper, allow you to take the whole caliper off and then you can clean inside and stuff. There's actually it's pretty clean in there after, after having a little inspection. It's a bit noisy guys with the car. Okay, yeah, I'll have a little look at the boots and stuff in a sec, but I don't have much faith for this actually going smoothly at all, because if I can show you, I have some, there's some serious, well, I'll show you in a sec, some serious corrosion on these. So let's have a look, yeah, we're rocking no shoes, because it is um, hotter than the devil's dick out here. It's incredible pretty warm in the UK at the moment. We've got tools as you can see back there. We have a little well yeah toolkit's pretty pretty extensive. It's got a lot of stuff in there so let's figure it out. Maybe I'll get you some zoomage on you. Let's figure it out though. Okay let's get to it. I think it's a size yeah size five Allen key for that there. So let's... I really don't have confidence in this though. It's looking a little bit loosey goosey in there. Love tap. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna budge. Let's see that. Probably shouldn't use one of these. Probably putting too much torque on it. <laughs> this is what you call overkill. Gosh. Hello. I don't want to use the power of grey skull because this alloy will just go. Hello. <laughs> well, that broke free. Probably heard that. <laughs> so, this is our um, yeah, pad retaining bolt. And that's, yeah. Let's just say it's never been changed. Just loosey goosey that for a bit. That's probably going to be a 10 more. Probably try it. Yeah, 10. Same procedure, lefty loosey, righty tighty, oh that came off nice. Yeah, check all that crap in there. Okay, so that boot there looks sweet. I don't know if it, oh. it just needs a clean up and stuff. 
Hopefully you guys can still see. What are we saying? Huh? Let's take that out. Oh, that's messy. But yeah, I'll show you. Should be able to clean this up quite nicely with wire wool and stuff. I haven't cleaned the bike after. Did a, did a nice ride, nice long ride around London and stuff. And didn't, um, yeah, we haven't cleaned it since. Okay, we're getting some room in here. There we go. So that's if you just want to pop these pads out, I can imagine. But check the rust and stuff. This is when you should really use pliers. And I did actually bring some gloves. Do you think I should put them on? Let's put some gloves on. Give me two seconds. I was only one second, just for the record. But I don't know what's better, that I put the glove on with the dirt still under the glove. No, shit, it's probably left it. But yeah, I'm just a hero like that. Yes, yeah, so that's just popped right up. And this is just if you want to just change these puppy dogs. How do they come out? Give them a wiggle, I suppose. Yeah, he says. There's a little clip back here which I do not have with my new pad. There we go. Ooh, nice and rusty. And yeah, I don't know if you can see. I might give you, I have to give you guys some zoom edge. Can you see in there? It's a cool clip. This has got some build up. I might try and pop that off and give that a clean. I suppose while I'm here, I'm just doing the same with the other one. I'm like wiggling it. I'm wiggling it like outwards. Cause this this has to come out like backwards and this comes forward towards you. It like slips out this way and then you can get it out. But yeah, just as rusty, just as bad. But at least with this bike now, I'm taking a lot more care of it. Pretty much never sees um, water. So. Yeah, just ride it when it's good weather and stuff, and yeah, fair weather rider, you know how we roll. Okay, we're going to attempt to go all the way off with this caliper. I could back pedal on this though, to be fair, because I've got the exhaust in the way and stuff, and yeah, YOLO. Lefty loosey righty tarty again. Oh, you guys can't see, let me try and do it this way. So yeah, we're on the top one, and there's some... I'm hoping he's in the air. Let the caliper come totally off. This is the best when you push like this and then you hurt your fingers on the caliper underneath. You can just see it happening, can't you? You can just sort of preempt it. The blood. Because I'm putting the power of Grayskull. Yep, and clip the hand. You called it. You called it. And I just tighten my finger on there. Yola. Okay, so now I probably should be responsible and forward thinking here and start gripping the caliper at some point. So don't necessarily want it to start chipping everything out. Like I said, the bike is a little bit dirty, but I know that. So don't worry about that, I just don't want to break the thing. Okay, here we go. So this is why you do these kind of things because I can see the boot is, it's gone a little bit in the back here. But I won't. Whilst I repair this, I won't put a new boot on now, but I'll order one. I don't know why. There's a lot of thread here. Okay, okay cool. So that's just, you pretty much just pulled off of the back so I don't know how you don't really have to unscrew that bolt all the way to be honest it'll just loosen off what are you guys thinking horrible can I get that clip out potentially we'll have a look at Haynes man and see what we can see if we can figure out but I want to get all this rust and rubbish off maybe I'll zoom out a little bit and you guys can see me cleaning it and stuff I've got a brake cleaner scrubbing brush this is going to take a bit of bit of wire wool love. That's just build up. But brake cleaner is going to yam these rubber bits up here. So they might just go now because they're a little bit old. I hope not to be honest. But you know, it is what it is. So yeah, let's give it a, give it a clean and maybe a zoom out and move the camera a little bit. Okay, so I figured out what they're called. It's called a pad, pad glide clip or something like that. This is what those little things are. How do I get this out? I have no idea. Maybe I'm just going to clean this up first, actually. Let me clean all this. And then push the piston back in. And we'll go from there. 
I've put this around the tire. You don't really want to get, well, you don't really know. You don't at all. You don't want to get anything on the rubber and stuff. So let's clean this up. So I've got this cardboard here and stuff. I don't want this to start scratching. What have I got? Give me this. Ouch. Doesn't sound nice. Let's see if I can get some cardboard or something. It's a bit wasteful the first couple of sprays to be fair. Yeah, you gotta agitate it slightly. You can't um, just spray and take some off, but you need to agitate it a lot more. There we go, here it comes, check. I'll probably be able to get this clip out now. <laughs> now if you see the colour of it. Yeah, I just want to loosen this up and I'll clean it better when it's off, when it's out. I want to clean this piston because I don't want to, basically what you want to do there, what, what you don't want to do is you do not want to push this piston back in with all this dirt around here. So you clean up as best as you can. surface rest I'm probably going to hit that with uh, with some wire wool. See, it's really cleaning up quite nicely. I've got about six cans of this stuff so we can go wild. This it feels like I'm putting more dirt onto it. See what I've just done, I've just sp s s spilled some on the tire. You need to be you need to remember you need to be careful here. I'm gonna wash the bike afterwards, but I'm really gonna go to town on washing the tires. Because this is guys, do not do this in the ride. It's ridiculous. I'm spraying the stuff everywhere. I should really be covering it a lot more. Trust me, I had some 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 bit of drifting action on the weekend and it wasn't fun. And it was right when I was by home. It's always when you mess around closest to home is when the accidents happen. It's okay when you know what you're gonna do, but when you don't expect it, that's when you get unstuck. Okay, let's get rid of this wall. This stuff feels horrible. But you see, you also wanna spray it off properly because this just leaves bits of debris everywhere. You can see how it cleans it up oh, it's magic. Hell magic up. I look like the wild man from Borneo here with his hair. Check, it's cool, huh? The, this stuff isn't staying on. I probably should have put some GT86 or something. Because then it'll like lube it up. Give it that lubage. Keep it lubed. Keep it free flowing. Because yeah, this is leaving all filings of metal everywhere, so. Just gonna keep the stuff in mind. Let's see, oh, I know you're not getting a great view of this, but you'll be able to see the, pro the finished product. contact surface here for the new pad. 
Remember this stuff's obviously abrasive here, so don't get whacking the paint with it. Bloody rubbing off rust. Here's some build up and crap here. Oxidization or something. Yeah, I've done this stuff with that and used this white wall with that gloves on too. And it goes into your fingers, so <laughs> you feel like all spike spikes in your fingers all night. Sometimes for a few days. So yeah, be careful with that too. <laughs> yeah, just little metal filings in your finger. You can imagine. It's not enjoyable. Okay. Oh, I'm putting in the way. You see, when you, when you clean your bike like this and look after it, this is what makes a difference for it lasting. Because most people just don't give a crap about this stuff. You know, I work hard for my stuff and respect it for that. Some people just don't have the mechanical knowledge or even want to put the effort in. But then if you don't, you know, if you don't, you got cash and pay someone to do it, to look after your thing. So that the next guy who buys it like me, I have a nice bike, a nice second hand bike to buy. That'd be wicked. Okay, so let me just keep polishing this, I don't want to keep it going for you guys. It'll be here all day watching me polish this. But you get the gist. Remember I told you I may need to take the cap off of the reservoir? So that's the reservoir. It's got to be the real one. So yeah, it's a, I think 8 mil. It's lefty, loosey, righty, tighty that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off and see if I can maneuver it. You can see the whole bracket going there. Yeah, okay, so let me, let me pop this off. You can see it's loosened up. I'm probably going to bring this pipe around and then I can just pop the cap off. And then I can, you know, push the piston back in. Well, yeah, you're not going to be popping that cap off in a hurry because it's screwed down. And you can see I've put some cloth on that back here. I unscrewed these. And yeah, just be very careful with this stuff because it's, you know, brake fluid, AK paint stripper. Okay, so there, I'm just, just loosening it off just so we got no, no vacuum or no pressure or anything. So hopefully you can just depress the piston and we should be all gravy. F now, I only went and um, touched the button with my brake fluid fingers, didn't I? Like some superstar DJ. Ah. Yeah, I got, you know, I've got the full crew scope. It's Jeepers, come on, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, I know I've just cleaned them, but maybe I can get some. Some of that. Some of that beast power up in there. Nope. Guys, I need to get something that I can get some sort of leverage on. This ain't gonna work. Be all day. Superstars. This is what we're working with here. We've got an old brake pad in there. A piece of cardboard on here. And I'm literally ripping this thing to get it to go in. I'm leveraging it off of the rear swing arm. This is what happens when you haven't got the right tool for the job. Makes a five second job into a ten minute job. Oh. And that's it again. Now we're at the top of my reservoir here because legend kept filling it up. So now the reservoir is full. So that should be that. Let's. I don't know if I'm going to get both pads in there. We shall see. Got to clean it back up again, obviously, because we've got rust again on there from the old pad. Okay, so 
how you get this clip out is you just hook in here in the top and just pull this out I think he says is there anything else keeping it in okay there yeah it's probably just the piston yeah, there we go that's how it's I'll clean that up you'll see the state of that now and I'll show you the state of the bolt it's a little let's keep them all in my hand can you even see with the hair in the way okay so that's the state of our current current bits now we'll give it a clean and show you guys what gives this is the magic stuff I was going on about. Spray a bit of this on, keeps it. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't spray this on the brake because obviously you would have cleaned it afterwards because it's a lubricant, right? So this will just keep the stuff going smooth while I clean it up. You know, and that's that. Check how well it cleaned up. And that's just with wire wool and stuff. Yep, didn't even see the silver there before. See, it's all silver. There's a little bit of oxidization, but it's actually smooth to the touch. It's just, yeah, we check. All smooth in here where the second pad's gonna sit. And I'll put I'll put copper grease all over here, but that's nice. So it's all cleaned up, cleaned up the points that can do with a little bit more cleaning there. Cleaned on the inside there, cleaned that one as well. Cleaned around here. Yeah. Pretty impressive that actually. Pretty cool. Okay, so here, this is a so I'm gonna do a bit of before and after on the wire wheel on this. And that and a couple of other parts. I'll show you what it looks like. So that's where we get everything cleaned up to. That's all the standard. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. That'll all go back in. All nice, clean, shiny and smooth. You want to get all those bits off because you need the stuff to slide nicely. So, yeah, bit of copper slip on, you know, copper grease on these and then we're all good. Here we go. So got some, got some new pads. So those are going to go on. Might need to push this piston in a little bit more. Yeah, we'll see you on that. Do a quick little mock up. So we'll sit. I just want to see if I'll actually get a disc in here. Might need to depress that a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Will the disc slip over that? What are you guys thinking? Ooh. It's going to be tired like a tiger. Oh, no, nah, I might need to push in a little bit more. Should we try? Eyeballing it. Maybe if I give it a little love tap. I don't know. Yeah, YOLO. Let's try. Okay. Putting a little bit of copper slip into here because it's, there's a little bit of oxida oxidation in there and there's a... Let's get that around. See, when, you, when you're talking, when you want to grease up, like rubber bits, you don't want to use this because of the copper copper in it. But, you know, metal, that's where you want to use the copper grease. Let's put some on the top bit there. Yeah, a little bit cumbersome because I haven't done this before so bear with me okay so let's put this on first oh yeah I'm not going to turn that by hand, am I? Let's be honest. Okay. okay. So we go. Remember righty tighty. Oh gosh. So you guys can't see what I'm in the way.
you know, it's, I haven't nipped it up very tight yet. Yeah, that boot isn't looking good back there, to be honest. Yeah, that boot is not looking hot. I think I need another one. Panic guys, push it all the way in and the boot will pop back over again. And just be careful when you take it out. Yeah, I wouldn't have I wouldn't recommend a, a copper slip on the rubber there. I would have just I would have probably just packed that with normal grease. But because I'm gonna get another boot, I'll just take that boot. I mean <laughs> now I really don't need another boot, so Ah, the copper slip's not going to do too bad. It's metal in there. And that's what's sliding. It's metal on metal, so it should be fine. Don't panic. Overcomplicating it. Okay. So now what do we want to do? See? Mistake number one. I haven't put the clips back in. Okay, so now putting these clips back. I've got to be a little bit careful here. Because I want to put... I want to put copper slip on it, not copper grease on these things, but you don't want to get on the disc. So let's just tap a little bit on it and I'll smooth it over with my finger. I can see where it's been wearing. You can see the sort of marks on the metal. So that's an indicator of where I want to put the stuff. a bit much but let's check now and do the rest of my finger so over there just want to stop it like squeaking and stuff but like I say you don't want too much because when the stuff gets hot you don't want it going all over the place Okay, put a little bit in here too because that's where the I want to grip it with another hand we haven't got all the copper stuff on <sighs> so you want to be more careful because you have the disc the discs going in the center there so you don't really want any stuff on the edge there What am I doing wrong here? Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so let me put a little, a little bit of copper slip in the back there. I still want... You can see where it's sort of... The colour's slightly different. So that must be where it contacts the metal. And this is what will also squeak and make some nice noises for you. So if you don't want that... 
pop this stuff on. Yes, you've got to get it at like an angle. And then your gravy. Boom. There you go. Just like that. And now. push the caliper in quite hard and then the boot just pops over and the boot's not actually that bad it's okay the boot must have just come off so now we should get a bit of sliding action yes we do So shoot. do I really want to put, yeah, I might put some on there. Okay, but now we've got to be careful. You don't want to pull that disc. And we don't want to pull this brake back on. Get up into the corner. Okay, so now we greased it, but now we've got to be careful here with the disc. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to put any on the, on the piston. I'll put directly into the pad, back of the pad. Okay, so now you want to clean your hands up. Get all the grease off, because you're potentially going to handle the front of the pad. <laughs> I nearly put it on the wrong way. <laughs> Classic. Okay. Let's just. I'm just gonna go a bit gangster over here because I don't know where it's gonna sit exactly. So I'll just be liberal with it. This is gonna sit around here somewhere. I don't know exactly though. Maybe a bit too liberal, but I don't want to deal with any squeaks. Do my head riding. Okay. Just lay that there for now. Okay, probably going to prepare this pin. Same thing. Copper slip this thing to high heaven. Copper grease, copper slip, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Just feels so classy. I love the stuff. I put it everywhere, even on the, um, you don't see me putting Loctite and stuff into these things. No chance. Never take the stuff back out. Thread the whole lot, mate. Get in soon. Okay, so just keep you there. Bang. See, I'm not a mechanic, but a tiny bit of common sense, I suppose. Actually, I say common sense. The way I took the pads out, I didn't actually just put them in that way. Give me a second, because you're making a huge mistake here. You remember I pulled them out and then inwards? 
be careful here. You don't want to mess around with brakes. You don't want to touch the disc as well. Yeah, you see. See? It would have been a fail. So what you got to do is you got to get that in there. Cool. Okay. Which is what I will be doing. So, actually, what you want to do is you want to try and keep that up all the time. So, I haven't got it on me now, but I would use... If it was my, my advice would be to use some sort of like a bungee sort of hook and just hook it back up, hook it up and then do it that way. But what I will be doing is juicing this up with some coffee slip. Let's check here, I'm gonna touch that slightly. I think one has. Yeah, it's not the end of the world if you touch it a tiny bit of it. Just clean the grease off. Okay, so we are there. Get in. Okay. Let's see what's the play game. It's gonna lose. Oh, oh you can tell that one got a clue. It might have to clean the disc at this point. Because I can see I'm not gonna get this right. Yeah, I'm making a mess of this. Okay. And I've got more of the cop grease on my fingers than I have on the um, brakes now. Because I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Absolutely great. Okay, let me go around this way. <laughs> Get the other pan. Okay. Maybe put a little bit of this in there. Put him here quick. We need back on Indonesia. There's only what I was doing. I'm gonna make the same mistake. Push all these. Okay, so we're gonna put this down. Let's give this a little clean off again. Put some fresh stuff on. Okay, and then put some on this as well. Okay. You could probably do this a lot quicker. You can do a bit of fast forwarding, I suspect. <laughs> oh, I got this. Okay. You need to be a bit careful with that, way. Okay, 
it'll have you screwing it in and you won't even know you're cross-threading it. So nip it up. So what I would normally do is I'll show you in a sec. If you if you freak out about bolt right and you haven't got you don't talk stuff and bits like that, there's little tricks and that you can do. Not not really tricks, just things that you can do for peace of mind really, but I'll show you in a sec. Okay, then we gotta tie it back up the reservoir and then put that back. And then I'll yeah, show you what I put on the bolts and stuff. The brakes look absolutely incredible now, <laughs> jeez. Night and day, night and day. Yeah, it's incredible. So clean. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And what are we, about an hour and a bit in? Check how well the front brake refurb's still doing. Absolutely perfect. Looking beautiful as well. Like I said, just a tiny bit of nail polish. I thought I was recording it when I put it on, but obviously something must have gone wrong, so you missed that. But there we go, so a tiny bit of nail polish there. A little bit of nail polish there. I wouldn't normally put it on these, I'm just doing it to show you guys really. So, I actually wipe it off. There we go. Yeah. And that will tell you. Oh, God. Ah! And you could leave yours on. And <laughs> I don't know if I just made it look actually worse. It was so nice and clean. Oh, great. But yeah, you put a tiny bit of nail polish on and you'll see if it moves when you come back off of a ride. And then you snip it up. 